Hey guys, what's up? I'm Brian here doing another video for you guys and this time I am doing an opening on the Power of the Primes Jazz. So yes, I know about the political thing and whatever. I'm, I, I'm gonna talk about that for a little bit because some people have already mentioned it. I'm, I'm not gonna dwell too much on it, uh, but this is an opening and also first reaction to the Jazz figure. So anyways, with that said, um, Jazz looks pretty cool. Um, yes, there's the back of the packaging. There's the front of it. I didn't know that he had the Alita 1 on the side here. The, uh, the combiner I thought was going to be Volcanicus, but no, they decided to do that. So that's pretty cool. Um, but with that out of the way, uh, and I noticed, uh, I noticed the different characters on this and it's got me a little excited. So yeah. Anyways, um, let's go ahead and open up Jazz. So let's open it from the top. This is my first deluxe Power of the Primes figure that I'm opening. Uh, let's see. Take down to there. Uh, let's see if I can just pull this out. Now I heard from a lot of people that this got, uh, I guess somewhat mixed reviews, but uh, I mean, I can make up my own mind. That. And uh, let's see. <sighs> Why is the tape not coming off the card? Uh, it should just pull right out. Uh, there we go. Had to rip it, but whatever. And there's the card for Jazz. So we got uh, who? I, I was going for uh, go for the Almaga uh, 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 whatever Jazz uh, because it had a funny little thing on the back. But oh, this is Megatronus Jazz. Oh, that's cool. Uh, undercuts the Decepticons with extreme sabotage. Ooh, he's a, he's a sabotage. Uh, which, by the way, I didn't read the Wind Charger one, which says. Uh, it becomes massive objects with huge gravitational pull. So it becomes fat. Okay. I don't know. Instructions! My god, Jess comes with instructions. Very long instructions. They even show uh, which leg to use it for. Which is hilarious. But yes, he's also got a leg mode. Because they continued that. Because everyone wanted that. I, I think it's a fun line, you know, the, the Combiner War stuff. I, I thought it was fun. Um, I, I actually really enjoyed it. And it was kind of sad to see it go because all these other Transformers. Yeah, these scissors suck. Uh, all these other Transformers became Combiners. Um, and, and it was like, they didn't need to, but it was part of the fun of it that you can make your own combiner. So I had no problem with it. There's that little weapon thing. I'll talk about that in a sec. Um, but yeah, that was part of the fun and I wanted them to do some other characters. Like Jazz was one of the ones I wanted them to do. And finally we got that. So I'm not gonna complain about a combining Jazz. I'm pretty sure someone out there is a Jazz fan that's like, you know what? Jazz is cool, but I kinda wish they was uh, able to combine with people, you know? And, and it's something that they throw in. It's not like something that you need to uh, use Jazz with. It, it's not like he's required to be a combiner. You can just have him by himself. He's fine. Uh, first impressions go, some of the joints are pretty loose on this guy. Like, this is not good, but uh, that's not... Is that supposed to be the shoulder joint? Oh, I thought this was on a ball joint. Oh, now it makes sense. Um... See, my complaint was, uh, I, I get the hollowness inside there, but my complaint was that he's got a ball joint here that you might want to move, but it just wouldn't move. But no, apparently he's got a mushroom joint instead, and then this joint. So, you know, that's, uh, that's fine, I guess. Uh, it's a little loose inside here, but nothing too much. Uh, this side is tight, but this side is tight as well, apparently. Um, the head's... The head's fine, uh, and I like the molding on the head. I, I think that's pretty cool, so I do like that. Uh, there's that uh, little weapon piece. You can attach it 
using those little grooves sections. Uh, it's got grooves right there. Uh, you just bring this around and that's supposed to connect onto there. I guess you're supposed to flip up the peg too. This feels like very cheap plastic to me. I don't know why. I don't know. Oh, and it's also kind of chipping off too. That's, uh, that's always a good sign, right? Ha! Ah. And, uh, let's see. This is a pretty tricky one to plug in, but hey, it plugs in! Oh. There we go. And there's Jazz with, uh, a, a baby thing. You know, where, where they carry the babies. You can take out this clear bit and use that as a gun if you want. Although that that's kind of weird, but hey, at least they give it use. Um, but uh, that is meant to be used with the Prime Masters, but you could also use the Titan Masters, which uh, plug in just fine. They're kind of a little out there. I, I wish they were more sunken in, but uh, I kind of like that idea. It's just when you don't want to use it for the torso, it's got no other use. Like, oh yeah, you can plug that onto his hand as a, as a weapon, but it doesn't look like a weapon. Uh, at, at least some of the original combiner uh, hands, you know, as bad as they were, at least they tried giving it a weapon. This doesn't look like a weapon. Um, I, I guess that one more so than some of the other ones, but eh, I, I'm just not that into it. Uh, and then also these guys' normal gun, which uh, normal gun's fine. I'm probably going to pose that with the gun more often uh, than this when I just want to actually pose it, not just complete it. Uh, usually when I have my Transformers on the shelves, I try to have everything on it to complete it, but uh, I'm just not a fan of that. But that might be a, a personal thing. I don't know. So anyways, with Jazz, um, let's uh, get the elephant out of the room. Let's see if he has it. Yeah, he's got the, he's got the MAGA logo, unfortunately, but um, I don't really care. Because one, it's in a language that uh, isn't so obvious. I mean, I know what it is because it was translated for me, but if I didn't know, it wouldn't affect me. Uh, and, and two, I'm not gonna let it ruin a jazz toy for me. It, it's not like buying this is somehow gonna promote uh, anything political. Which, by the way, uh, someone commented that, oh, it is a Trump thing, stop lying to yourself. It is obviously a Trump thing. No. You're an idiot if you think that. The problem is, it's a political statement on a toy that doesn't need to be there. Now, you could give it the benefit of the doubt. Maybe it's not supposed to be that. Maybe it is supposed to be a reference to that G1 episode where uh, they said manga instead of jazz and it, they just misspell it. And somehow, it just all kind of came together like, oh, it's also uh, Make America Great Again. Um... But then again, also, someone could see the colors of jazz and think, oh, that's America, might as well put that on. So, it could be whatever at this point. Uh, let's see. Oh, clear plastic, my favorite. Let's see, bring that up. And we're going to start the transformation. Now, you do have to open this up uh, for the transformation, just how the legs are transformed. And then, let's see, how do we do this? Uh... Bring the head up, bring that chest in, or that thing in, bring that down, and then that will collapse into place, move that down, and then try to collapse it, I guess. There we go, and then that will fold up and semi-tab into here. Oh, that's really hard to plug in. There we go. I don't doesn't want to plug in but I can fix that I mean I, I shouldn't have to fix that but I can fix it so come on uh, oh well it's gonna be like that for now uh, and then bring the arms down and uh, yeah oh I didn't I didn't realize that it's kind of funny uh, anyways uh, let's see open up the legs which open inward for some reason. I don't understand why they decided to do that, but okay. Oh, maybe it's because of the tire, but eh, even then it's like, why? Anyways, that will collapse in on itself. 
Yeah, the transformation's not really that fun on this toy. Um, also, like, a hassle, just because of how it is. I, I do like the leg transformation. Yeah, it's simple, but I kind of like how the feet just fold into place. Um, but that's pretty much it. And then maybe, I guess, combining everything will be kind of fun. Uh, let's see, move the head up. And then close these down. Tap them into place. And yes, there's some gaps going along here. There we go. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I, I think I do just need to shave it down. I, I think there's too much paint on that. And yeah, there's a difference in color on the white, but it's not as noticeable as I thought it was going to be. But I think that is a beautiful looking alt mode. I don't care if, oh, that's not the original Jazz. I really don't. I, I think that is a gorgeous looking car. Uh, you could take the gun and you could plug that onto the top there. You could also take that hand foot thing and plug that onto there. You could also reverse it if you like. Uh, it's just how it is. I just feel like they didn't even try with those. Uh, so anyways, with that said, let's go ahead and try to convert it into... Uh, let's see. Uh, let's start with the leg mode. That seems to be the easiest. So let's open this up. I guess this is all supposed to come down like that or something and oh yeah and then uh, the arms flip back in and there's a couple of tabs on the, uh, the arms that will plug onto the side of the leg so that's pretty cool uh, and then bring up the combiner port and there you have a leg of course this doesn't transform into a foot I mean I, I guess you can no you can't I don't know why pieces of, of plastic from this is falling off. That's not good. But uh, I, I do like the leg mode for this. It, it's a little gappy right here, but uh, overall not too bad. Um, I have a combiner to use this for. Uh, let's see. So I'm going to take off the prowl figure. And I guess just lay him down for a second. Take off the hand foot weapon thing. Plug that at the bottom of the foot or leg, whatever, and plug that right in there. And uh, he actually works really well as a leg, um, really well. Actually, he fits right in. I love the look of that. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty impressed by that. Well done. I know, it's just uh, something about the color scheme that works. Now, I'm going to swap out Prowl once again, and maybe just take out, eh, I can take him out after, but, uh, let's transform him into an arm and see how that is, because that shouldn't be too hard. Uh, let's see, so the legs would transform the same way, I'm pretty sure of that. Uh, let's see. If Combiner Wars has taught me one thing, is that the feet shouldn't flip in. Oh, now I get why you can leave the feet in like that. I just said something stupid. I, I was just like, oh, now I realize why you could do this in robot mode. But it's like, it, it wouldn't affect the robot mode. <laughs> or, or the leg mode. You know what I mean. Are those pegs for, uh, for, uh, Titan Masters? See if they are. Nope, a little too big. Oh well. At least on this. I don't know if that was the intention, but uh, yeah, just a little too big. Anyways, um, legs don't really combine too well. Oh, there we go. And then I want to put this on this side. Then, let's see, fold that in, and oh, there are a couple of tabs right there that will go into the arms. I was thinking, oh, is there a secure way? No, it's just those little tabs, which kind of suck. Um, or is there more than that? No, that seems to be about it. That kind of sucks. Because uh, the tabs aren't holding. Is that literally it? Yep, that is literally it. Okay, I guess. Um, let's see. Let's bring out the Ultra Maximus or Optimus Maximus, whatever you want to call it. Combiner. I got Mirage off. 
and let's plug that as an arm. Uh, it's pretty tall, um, considering uh, the majority of the, the front of the car is on top. And for some reason, that does not want to plug in. There we go. Hopefully, I can get that out. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I, I don't like how that arm is. Just with the whole side of it just kind of flopping around. But hey, now I can use this. And yes, he's got two thumbs. Because why not? Wouldn't you want two thumbs? I bet you would. Anyways, there's the hand mode, and I kind of like that more than the original ones. And that plugs in right there. And yeah, that looks pretty cool. And I could plug the gun on. Yay! A little tiny gun for a big combiner. Uh, I don't I don't think it looks too bad. I, I thought it was going to look way worse than this, but... Um, Jazz. Why is that combiner port not coming out? There we go. That was weird. Alright, let me put that back down. Put Mirage back in his place. And leave the combiner down there. So yeah, um, not every mode works. Not everything on this toy works. I, I think the plastic has gone down on this. It, it feels a little cheap. Um, but uh, maybe it's not a quality control issue. Maybe it's just that's the kind of plastic they used. And maybe it's just in my head it's kind of weak. I, I, I think it's that softer plastic um, or, or lighter plastic that has been used before on Transformers. It's just I'm used to the other hands having that more solid plastic. So it, it might have something to do with that. So... Yeah, as a first introduction to Power of the Primes, Jazz is not really the best thing. Uh, and, and I need to make a point on this toy, not a political statement, so good news, um, that uh, you have to remember that there's a couple of gaps right here, and then a couple of tabs right here. So don't just flatten the back out and then bring this down, you have to move this back a little bit, and try to find the tabs, and try to lock that into place. Then, that should all go in, and there we go, there's Jazz. So, again, not my favorite so far, and I forgot about the feet. Um, I don't hate it, at least I can say that, but some of the joints could have been tighter, which, yes, I do know, floor polish, whatever. I don't, yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, just not my favorite. So with that out of the way, okay, that's a little better. Uh, with that out of the way, I think you guys watch. Please like, up, and share, subscribe, and all those fun doodads, and I'll see you guys next time. There is one thing I forgot to do. Yeah, I think RTS takes the cake, although I wish this wasn't a big issue. I mean, this still does look like jazz. Uh, in, in fact, it feels a little more original to me, like the original jazz, but, uh, yeah. This is just eh.